Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. If you have any questions, please email me at admin at Tinkernut.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a free program that allows you to simulate terrain. And you can use that in games or animations or just to Photoshop yourself into some exotic location. But the program is called Terrigen, and if you do a Google search for it, the first link should take you to their main website, where you'll then follow a long line of links to actually get to the download page. You've got to click on Terrigen for Windows, the Windows product page, the uh, download link for that, and then finally that will take you to the download page where you have to click yet another link to actually download it. But once you've gone through all that and you finally have it downloaded, go ahead and install it to your computer and then just close close out of everything. And then you can go ahead and start the Terrigen application. And this is what the program is going to look like. And the first thing you want to do is click the Generate Terrain button. And you can adjust all these different settings. Uh, you can adjust the size of the features, the canyons, the realism. But whenever you're through, just click Generate Terrain, and it's going to show this uh, kind of gray top-down overview of the terrain. Now if you click on Surface Map at the bottom and Edit, you can adjust the bumpiness of the terrain and also the color of it. The default is gray, so I'm going to change mine to green, and I'm going to make that a little bit lighter then click OK. And if you go to the rendering control window and click render preview, it'll give you a preview of it. Now on the left hand side you have more options. Um, this is the water op option that I just click the water button on the left hand menu. And I'm going to set the water level to negative 10 meters. And you can also adjust the uh, wave size and properties. You can adjust the subsurface properties. You can adjust uh, shoreline foam and um, how, how much foam you want, how dense you want it, how high you want it, different things like that. You can also adjust the reflection properties. Uh, but whenever you're through, just click Update Maps. And in the lower right hand corner of this screen, you can adjust where you want the camera to point by clicking on it, and then just click Render Preview. So the next option is the Clouds option. And under this option, you can adju adjust the color of the clouds going to kind of give mine a, a light pink tint and uh, you can also adjust how dark you want the clouds like how thick how dense you want them um, and different things like that and then you can also uh, choose to make it 3d but whenever you're through again you can just click the render preview and it should show you what it looks like so the next option down is the atmosphere you can adjust the haze, kind of like a, a, a fog type, and the color of it. You can adjust the color of the sky, uh, or the atmospheric blue, and, uh, and, get, and then click Render Preview again to take a look at it. The last option is the sun. You can adjust the level of the sun, um, and also the location of where it's shining, and you can tell what it looks like by the different shadows. And uh, now if I click render preview again it kinda gives it a night look. Now I'm gonna drag the detail slider all the way up to the top and click render image and it should give me a final image of what it looks like. Alright that's it for this tutorial. For more go to tinkernut.com